From instantly famous catchphrases to viral auto-tune remixes, stay tuned to number one to find out who made $3 million from McDonald's in a single instant. Number 10, Danielle Brigoli. You may know her as the Cash Me Outside girl who shot to fame in 2016 after appearing in a Dr. Phil episode where he tried to help her through her rebelliousness. Unfortunately though, it seems that all it did was bring her up to the public's eye and the living breathing meme quickly shot to internet fame through her now famous line, Cash Me Outside, how about that? Danielle used the fame to her advantage to get noticed by the record label Atlantic Records, setting her up to quickly become a millionaire. Operating under the name Bad Baby, she has already released multiple hits and her first single called These Hoes is, as of early 2018, already sitting on 62 million views. Despite her getting a lot of hate from people stating that she is setting a bad example through her music, being just 15 years old, it has not deterred her from continuing to release music you may not expect from someone so young, as she continues to become a rising star, all because of that one famous line. Number 9. Honey Boo Boo Toddlers in Tierras is not typically a program where you would expect to see the beginning of a rise to fame. However, in season 5 of the show, we were introduced to 6-year-old Honey Boo Boo. She immediately became a hit through her multiple catchphrases and her sassy confidence. And before long, she and her family had their own TV show called Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. The program followed the family around in their day-to-day -day life and featured her mother, June Shannon, and the rest of her family. The show was canceled in 2014 after just three seasons, and the family went quiet for some time until 2017 when a new show was announced where they would be following Honey Boo Boo's mother this time, and her incredible weight loss through multiple surgeries to remove excess fat and skin. The new program called Mama June from Not to Hot has recently concluded its first season but is set to continue sometime in 2018, relaunching this family's lives into the spotlight. Number 8. Lena Morris When Lena Morris entered a competition in 2012, she had no idea that it would launch her into fame that would change the course of her life. Known only as the overly attached girlfriend, Lena has become an overnight celebrity, with her face becoming the poster for crazy stalker-type girlfriends. Although she didn't win the competition, which was a Justin Bieber competition where people had to upload their own renditions of his fame song Boyfriend, she had won internet fame and her face became so well known that she would even be stopped in the street for photos. She's even appeared on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Since her practically overnight rise to fame, she's become a full-time YouTuber and has already gained over 1.5 million subscribers. And all of this fame can be traced back to one simple video made six years ago and her achieving just the right level of crazy for it. Speaking of subscribers, take a moment to subscribe to Zero to Hero below. While you're there, don't forget to like this video. Number 7. Victoria Waldrip this 17-year-old teen, better known as Woe Vicky, is having a serious identity crisis and is using it to her full advantage. Woe Vicky is a blonde, fair-skinned teenager from Atlanta, Georgia, who is completely convinced that she's actually African-American. She has supposedly known her whole life that she is black, despite her family assuring her that she is actually white, much like they are. And if you look at her, you would probably agree until she shows you her DNA test. Plot twist, it actually says that she is indeed somewhere between 45 and 25 percent African descent. She has adopted the same stereotypical mannerisms you might expect to see from someone who deliberately is imitating another race, including a very interesting take on an urban southern accent. Today you can find her on social media teaching you how to twerk or perhaps how to buy and use weaves or she could be doing makeup tutorials. She has learned to capitalize on the attention she's getting, both good and bad, and is using Instagram for paid promotions. Woe Vicky can even be hired to make appearances. This approach has made her a killing, and she is currently worth roughly half a million dollars. Number 6. Maggie Goldenberger 
While we're on people made famous with just a picture of their face, we have to mention Maggie Goldenberger, the Ermergerd Gershberms girl. The wide-eyed girl with pigtails, an ugly vest, and a handful of Goosebumps books. In an interview, she once stated that when she saw the picture appear on Facebook in 2012, she had no idea what was starting. The photo was actually of her at age 12, and she and her friends had dressed up and she was imitating someone obsessed with the books. Despite the photo being over 10 years old at the time it was posted, it quickly became famous, with people adding their own captions into the picture as well as photoshopping different objects into her hands. Today, she says that she's not embarrassed by the photo, and she was dressed up so it didn't reflect how she actually is, adding that although it wasn't an ideal way to become famous, at least she had her few minutes in the spotlight. Number 5. Chris Crocker this is another name you may not instantly recognize, but he is one of the first stars of YouTube, and back in 2007 when he rose to fame, he was basically a household name. If you don't yet know who we're talking about, he is the Leave Britney Alone Right Now guy, who appeared in a video in 2007 wearing a blonde wig and mascara running down his cheeks, demanding that people leave Britney alone. This came after Britney Spears' terrible performance at the 2007 VMAs, where she was ridiculed for both her song as well as her choice of wardrobe. Shortly after all the hate started flying about Britney, Chris uploaded the video in an obviously emotional state, saying that Britney should be left alone and people would need to go through him first to get to her. This helped him become an instant sensation, spawning hundreds of remakes by other people as well as the all-famous auto-tune. Today, Chris looks nothing like the wig-wearing wreck we all knew, and since then he has starred in a pornographic movie and has even done some work as a model. Number 4. Antoine Dodson When he first stepped in front of the news camera in 2010 to speak about his sister's alleged attempted rape, Antoine Dotson had no idea that he was about to make himself into both a meme as well as an internet celebrity. If you don't recognize the name, he's the guy that stood in front of the camera stating that there's a rapist in Lincoln Park, he's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husbands cause they're raping everybody out here. Okay, that sounded nothing like the way he said it, but this simple sentence became a bigger hit than the story it was about and it quickly went viral on YouTube, bringing out the ever-famous auto-tune song named Bed Intruder Song, and a ton of remixes and variations of his words besides this, with the original Bed Intruder Song even making it to number 89 on the Billboard's Hot 100 list, selling over 250,000 copies. Number 3. The Kardashians Surprisingly enough, the Kardashians, while they have always been extremely wealthy, have not always been the center of attention, with their lives being broadcast to the world. The family was first noticed in 1995 when their father, Robert Kardashian, was part of the legal team defending O.J. Simpson in what is still one of the biggest trials in history. Although the trial began to shed some light on the family, it wasn't until 2007 when Kris Kardashian thought that her family deserved its own show and pitched the idea to Ryan Seacrest, who accepted, probably not realizing exactly what he was starting. The program first aired in October 2007 and had a decent enough viewership, but not great. That is, until in that very same year, a certain tape featuring Kim Kardashian and rapper Ray J became public knowledge, rocketing the Kardashian name front and center and simultaneously shedding that last bit of light on the family that they needed. Since then, the family has continued to keep the show going through their publicizing of their breakups and their babies and their relationships. Number 2. The Duggar Family there are tons of big families out there, and it's not uncommon that there are families with five or even six children out there. However, there are some families out there that consider six a few too little and have continued to grow their family to almost cartoonish sizes. 
enter the Duggar family, currently sitting on 19 children and many grandchildren besides. They first decided to cash in on their family size in 2008 by starring in a TV show that followed them around in their daily lives as a family with 17 children, then as a family with 18, and finally ending up with 19 children by the time the series concluded in 2015. The series ended following a police report that emerged, revealing that the eldest of the children had sexually molested five young girls, including four of his sisters. With this said, a few of the older children have been able to create spin-off programs, following them as they continue to grow the Duggar family to the size of a small village. Number 1. Stella Liebeck There is a rather good chance that you have heard the story, even if you don't recognize the name. As the legend goes, a woman bought a cup of coffee from McDonald's and spilled it over her lap while driving, causing severe burns, and a lawsuit against McDonald's that ended up paying her almost $3 million by the end of it all. Stella Liebeck is this woman, and it is no myth. In 1992, she bought a coffee from McDonald's and did indeed burn herself while adding sugar and cream to the cup third-degree burns no less, and it resulted in her needing a skin graft on her inner thighs to replace the damaged tissue. While you may argue whose fault it is, this case paved the way for future lawsuits against companies where people would sue companies for ridiculous reasons. Now, in her defense, Stella Liebeck had only asked for McDonald's to pay for her exorbitant doctor bills, and only sued after the fast food company refused. A jury of her peers felt that they should have helped though, springing her into the spotlight. What do you think about these infamous stars? Let us know in the comments below and take care.